The city of Seattle made history on Monday when it raised the minimum wage. The highest in the nation by far. Five years ago, Seattle became the first city to pass a $15 minimum wage. I think it's pretty awesome since I benefit from it. The rising tide raises all boats. 15 in Seattle is just a beginning. We have an entire world to win solidarity. When the law passed, we went to Seattle to interview people about it. It's, it's a good thing that we're leading the way for the rest of the country. I wish that it was all over the place, not just Seattle. Increasingly, it is. New York State taking steps towards a $15 an hour minimum wage. Other states and lots of cities have copied Seattle. California Governor Jerry Brown signed a $15 minimum wage bill. But now the results from Seattle are in. Some people are being paid more. They're the winners. But for many people who wanted jobs. The increased minimum wage is having an opposite effect. Costing thousands of jobs and actually hurting low income workers. You see it on this graph. The green line tracks the number of new jobs created in Washington state. The red line is new jobs in Seattle. Once Seattle raised its minimum to $15, entry level job growth stalled. It's really presented by minimum wage advocates as a win-win. It's a win-win for employers. It's a win-win for workers. And, you know, there are no negatives. But there are negatives, says Erin Shannon of the Washington Policy Center. She points to stores like this one, where the owner used to hire kids and train them. But once Seattle raised the minimum, she stopped hiring beginners. Yeah, politicians in Seattle especially have no sense whatsoever about what it means to small businesses like us. Most people we interviewed said the politicians are right. Yes, some people will go out of business, others will take their place. It's something we need to do. It's as if they've never learned about supply and demand. Minimum wage actually hurts my chances of getting employed. This 20 year old understands the effect better than Seattle's politicians did. Raising the minimum wage causes increased unemployment. Rigel Novakosa is one of the $1,500 winners of a video contest done by my classroom charity. My name is Dylan Hodes, and this is my wage rage. Dylan Hodes won the high school video contest. He mentioned a friend who worked at Kroger until her store raised its minimum to $12. She was getting paid $12 an hour, um, but slowly but surely, uh, they started cutting her days, her hours. She was regulated to only working on Sundays. Um, and that's because she was young and inexperienced. I feel the big she thing. She wasn't worth 12 bucks. She wasn't worth 12 bucks to Kroger. She's worth the world to me, but she wasn't worth 12 <laughs> bucks to Kroger. I learned things from their videos, like how many wealthy countries have no minimum wage. Countries such as Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Switzerland. Nobody knows that. No, no, and especially with Switzerland. Which has much lower unemployment than America. Partly because Switzerland has no minimum. It stops us from actually getting a job. Esther Rhodes won the high school essay contest. Her essay pointed out that America's first minimum wage laws were racist. At the time, blacks were often paid less, but they were more likely to be employed than whites. The whites were like, hey, they're getting all the jobs. This isn't fair. Congressman Olgood said he hoped the minimum wage would stop cheap colored labor in competition with white labor. So although Americans think the minimum was invented to help needy people. It was meant for the opposite, to keep the poor and the minorities from getting jobs. And today it still keeps entry level workers from finding work. But the politicians don't understand the downside. Lift up the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour. Raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. It's easy to see why a higher minimum wage is so popular. On the surface, you think, oh, this is a great idea. Because it raises some people's wages. Everybody deserves a living wage. But while it helps some, it harms many others, especially young people who may now not be offered their first job. I'm 14, it'd be very difficult for me to find a job. My labor wouldn't be worth $15 an hour. If only politicians were as smart as those kids.